Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous autumn evening here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas here on Sunday afternoon, November 13th, 2016. I just got back from this picking party and went straight to the mainstream media news for more information on how Donald Trump, the election of Donald Trump, is bringing down a planet. Right before I left here uh, on Saturday, I uh, was bringing you Chris Hedges' rant, how Donald Trump's policies will most probably extinguish all life on Earth. You can find that one elsewhere. But you know, I came back, guys. I clicked on Yahoo News and, uh, and, 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 and here it is. Uh, it, it's, it's all right here. Hambone Little Tail, Eco Nazi, has an apology to make for anything, any trash talk I have ever made about Donald Trump. Hallelujah. As I was just listening to one of my friends playing, what was that? The the YouTube she was playing ended with that we can thank the Lord and Jesus Christ for for Donald Trump uh, winning the election is what she was saying in her YouTube, and I don't know who we can thank. I I, I would thank the hand of God, Donald Trump, coming in. In, in my estimation, way beyond Jill Stein. Jill Stein, you know, she got my vote uh, when she defaced a bulldozer uh, while she was protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline. Of course, the Dakota Access Pipeline will be a, a shoe-in along with the uh, the... Keystone Pipeline that we can look forward to being reborn here in the next uh, little while, but this is way beyond pipelines. This is, uh, you might or might not have caught my little rant. I did something called an ironic rant when uh, I, I was doing, featuring this article from Huffington Post about all the ways your heart can break us. This was just on Friday where Huffington Post printed this sentence, my heart breaks for the children I do not have and now cannot imagine ever wanting to bring into this world. So Friday, I was sitting right here in this chair with this little dog, you know, you know, cheering on Donald Trump. If Donald Trump is what it takes to convince women of childbearing years to never have children, hallelujah, Donald Trump. It is overpopulation. Uh, being uh, the number one biggest threat to well the number the number one biggest threat to this planet is Donald Trump but so uh, overpopulation is a close second now to Donald Trump to being the biggest threat to planet Earth but still in the top two uh, and so as I was pointing out y you know if Donald Trump has convinced this clueless fucking moron uh, brooder hen not to have any more kids, hallelujah, Donald Trump. And then I open up many versions of this story here on, uh, on the mainstream and alternative media. This is, uh, who is, this is good old Reuters News. Reuters News, you cannot get any more mainstream media than this report. Trump win fuels donations and IUD demand at Planned Parenthood. Hallelujah. 
uh, just as just as I mentioned in another rant, more and more and more uh, Latin American illegal immigrants are in full flood coming into this country since Trump's win, and we also now have a new flood of donations financial donations to Planned Parenthood, but more importantly for this rant is we have just, just since Tuesday, the demand for IUDs and other long-term birth control devices skyrocketing since Donald Trump uh, became president and so I, I, I was going to come out here and do a joke rant, kind of just, you know, extending my rant from Friday, uh, just being ironic, because obviously, guys, what they're talking about in all of these stories about this IUD demand is, is that Donald Trump is going to make Planned Parenthood a major target to, to have all federal funding uh, of Planned Parenthood or any sort of family planning, birth control, abortion services. He is going to do everything he can to uh, put the kibosh on anything remotely related to, uh, to birth control. And so what these women are doing is in the, while Obama is still in, in, uh, in the White House for the next few months, what these women are doing is like stockpiling, stockpiling IUDs because they, uh, they can get them partly or maybe all the way paid for. I'm probably dreaming by thinking that. And so what these women are doing, looking ahead, realizing that uh, they're no longer going to have access to free or low-cost family planning and birth control services, they are kind of stockpiling for the end times. Uh, and that's the real story. But so, but I was, so I was just going to make this a joke, but then, guys... Here in this Reuters news story, getting down to the bottom of the story is this absolutely just kind of, you know, little observation uh, stuck in here uh, towards the bottom of this story. <clears throat> the affiliate said, quote, demand for permanent sterilization, demand for permanent sterilization, at, at least through Planned Parenthood, climbed 57% over the past week. Hallelujah. Permanent. Are you hearing me? Permanent sterilization. The demand has shot up by 57 percent as women pull their heads out of their pussies uh, and look around and notice that with Donald Trump now being the leader of the free world that bringing a life, uh, it, it, having children uh, from here on out on this planet with Donald Trump in the White House, as I, as I mentioned in my rant on Wednesday morning, is, is a form of felony child abuse. Uh, just just the, the future that a child born in a Donald Trump administration, the, the existential horrors, and, and these women are waking up. 57% increase in one week in demand for permanent sterilization. 
as Donald Trump. Donald Trump doing probably more than any person on this planet to get women, and I'm hoping men, you know, Friday is National Vasectomy Day. I think you can get a a low-cost vasectomy at Planned Parenthood is my guess. So hopefully this is vasectomies and tubal ligations they're talking about. But if Donald Trump can, in, in one week, and uh, just being elected, can get a, an increase in demand for permanent sterilization, uh, I say, all joking aside, I say hats off to Donald Trump for finally, finally pulling women's heads out of their twats and seeing the light of day. Donald Trump bringing on the long overdue New World Order depopulation agenda that Alex Jones, you know, Donald Trump's biggest supporter, uh, talking about uh, the depopulation agenda, and we now have the New World Order man for the job in the White House bringing on the depopulation agenda, and I want to say thank you from the bottom of my little ham bone heart to Donald Trump for getting my eco-Nazi message out there to bring on the depopulation agenda by getting yourself permanently sterilized and do it while you can for cheap at Planned Parenthood, but I will revisit this rant on Friday in celebration of National Vasectomy Day on November 18th. For this rant, cheering on my new Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Donald Trump. I gotta get my little dog in from the roving bands of coyotes out in the wilderness. I'm going to get him. Bye, guys. Mm. Mm. Yes, I'm with that.